Moncada. That armbar applied by Christian. And now Christian with seeing Tara's got him right where he wants him here. And that was an arm breaker by Christian. Take it out, Sin Kata. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment. And now here's the cover. This is it for Sin Kata. No, and a kick out at one by Sin Kata. Christian staying alive any way that he can. And now a knee of the spine by Christian has got Sin Kata right where he wants him here. All right, now, though, folks, I got to believe we got a big match card in store for you. But earlier tonight, our current HWF general manager, Jesse Pinkman, made a statement known to the HW, to, to TAW, what is the comment, Thanksgiving Massacre, Frog Splash from Christian off top. But see, kind of got those knees up. Christian with a counter. And Christian launching Sin Kata on the other side of the ring. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Cover. This is it. One, two, now. And a kick out at one. Right now, though, folks, later on tonight in our Diva contest, that we're going to see Eno and one on one action making our HWF in ring debut against Sakana. Two great rivals, I'll tell you. We're being told Eno is going to be coming to ring by Hinata, one of the HWF Women's World Tag Team Champions. The new HWF Women's World Tag Team Champions, the Legend Killer Zone, Hinata and Eno, they both will meet. And he 
ECW original, a legend in his own right, former TNW Summer July Money in the Bank winner, lost the briefcase to TNW's own Jay Reigns in that hellacious last man standing match as Sam Bell gave it his all during that night, I'll tell ya. Right now, the, the rules of this hardcore match are simple, which means there are no disqualifications, no countouts, and yet the bottom line is even pinfalls count anywhere in this matchup. And this is going to be an all-out war between two great legends and two great ECW originals. And uh-oh, here comes the Sandman, the hardcore king himself. Or should I say, the hardcore icon himself, the original. And his opponent, from Sandy Lake, Utah, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the hardcore icon, this is the Sandman! Well, Sandman, making his way through the crowd, and there he is! Sandman still wearing his costume, after what happened at Fred of October, losing these traditional six-man Fred of October, And he's got a champion versus champion match at Thanksgiving Massacre with the, with the powerhouse. And I may have to agree with him there because at Thanksgiving Massacre coming up in one week, it's the champions versus the champions. And now Sandman will also represent Team HWF. And now Sandman suplexed by Sabu, taking down Sandman. Two hardcore icons in the ring. Back suplex by Sabu. Right now, though, Sabu trying to give it his all tonight with everything that he's got, knowing what's on the line here in this one-on-one -on -one hardcore rules match, knowing there are no holds barred, anything goes in this matchup. What a strike. And now Sandman from the corner. Bulldog off the corner by the hardcore icon. What a move by Sandman. Joey Styles once said on ECW where Sandman was in and out for bar fights and spent six months in solitary confinement for punching out a prison guard. And, and it looks like Sandman is the real ECW indeed. And now though, I have to agree on Joey Styles at this point for what I'm seeing here thus far. And look out, Shinbreaker from Sandman. Oh my God. Sandman. Playing a little mind games with Sabu. That and Sabu with a jawbreaker into a clothesline. That's right now though, it's been 10 years. It's been a long time for, for Sandman and professional wrestling. The man's a legend and a future Hall of Famer here. Cover no one a kick at it one. Sandman, a former five-time ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Jawbreaker. And a jawbreaker from Sabu and takes down Sandman again. And now Sabu, German suplex, launching Sandman to the second row. Uh oh, Sabu going up top. The Arabian Skull Crusher from the top row. That one's got to be it right there for Sandman. Incredible. Oh, Sabu going for it. Says this uncle the original Sheik. Camel clutch locked in on the Sandman. And Sandman escaping the camel clutch. Knows it too well. I mean, he's been in many matches with Sabu over the years. Both these two are ECW originals. But, uh-oh. Sandman caught for the end. Jumping DAT. 
might be the opportunity he needed. That one's got to be it right there. And oh, cover here is this it. One, two, and no, and a kick out. That was so close. Sandman thought he had it right there to that jumping DDT. Wait a minute, Sandman going into the ring looking for a weapon. It's legal. No disqualifications. These guys He's got the baseball bat. Got. But Sabu saw it coming. And he launches Sandman like a human chapel, face first, off the apron. And now Sabu bringing it back to the ring. And Sabu wisely bringing it back to the ring. Hopefully they don't bring it over here, but what am I saying, man? I don't think it was not even out here. Wow. Right now, though, this is turning out to be a great match, and Sabu fired up. But it may cost him, because Sandman's back to his feet. And Sandman bringing him to the but corner now. Oh, 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 my God. We've seen this before. Oh, wait a minute now. What's Sandman going to do? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not sure how much he has left. He jumps right through the second rope with a tornado DDT. Cover two. Oh, yeah. my God. That was a two and a half on the outside. You're dang right. That was awesome. And these fans here love it. In 2012 this is an amazing match that we are seeing here between two great hardcore legends. Spinning heel kick by Sabo. Kick the gun by Sandman. Saw that one coming. It's truly amazing. Is that John Cena eventually? Sandman with the right hand. Whoa! And just to remind I got no more Wait a minute! Curtis Axel. Match. Oh man! That's this Curtis Axel. Oh, Curtis Axel, not happy for what happened to him. Back at things, back in front of October, between him and Naruto, when Winston Man got involved. Curtis Axel team. Curtis Axel's team will meet Team Vince McMahon at Thanksgiving Massacre coming up. And one week from now, and there's a jumping DDT by the Sandman, taking down Curtis Axel. Now Curtis, escaping that one, trying to get the heck out of here. He wants no part of the Sandman, and Sandman in hot pursuit. Wait a minute. He just realized Sabu's back up. There it is, the white Russian leg sweep, right on the outside. Sandman with a cover, my God, is this it? Two. Three go! Oh, and Sabu got the shoulder this up. Is amazing! Oh, and Sandman thought that was it. After that white Russian leg sweep right on the outside, my God. That was a brutal, a brutal move by the hardcore icon. And now, 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 look out, look out, look out! Pile driver! Does he have enough left in the cat? Uh, Sandman. And that's twice now. Maybe in a world of trouble because Sabu's calling oh, for the end. This is the beginning of the end. Oh my god. Pile driver, no! Sandman overpowered it! Oh, With a pile driver of his own! Taking down Sabu! Unbelievable! And another white Russian leg sweep! Nicely done. That's what he was looking for. Eight of penitent. Sandman cover! Two! Take place 